Today I'm going to be switching out the, the little gusher for the whale in my uh, foot pump sink because um, as much as I like this one and I know that it saves me a lot of water, it also takes me a very long time to fill um, pans and um, the dog's water dish, which leads me to having to carry extra gallons of water and then keeping them out and readily available. And I'm hoping that the volume that comes out of here will decrease my time um, filling cups and bowls and pans of water for cooking. This is the Gusher Galley whale pump uh, that I got off of Amazon. So I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing. I have opened it before. Um, and so when you open it up, there's basically just the pump in here. And the first thing you're gonna notice is that the intake and the outgoing um, are folded up against your, um, your unit itself. And there's no instructions in here that tell you how to correct that problem. So I'm just gonna give it a try with a screwdriver and see if I can just kind of move these a little bit. And, oh yeah, and they move fairly quick, easily too, okay. My overall impression of the unit is, boy, it's really very beefy and it looks like it's gonna be uh, some good usage. Yep, okay. Let's go get this installed. It shouldn't be a big thing. There's a lot of uh, anchor points here to anchor it to whatever you want to. I'm gonna use these four on the bottom, which don't look like they're gonna be that easy to get to, but I'm just gonna put some uh, screws down into a floating piece of plywood that I already have. And by the way, when I come back from my trips, uh, I, I open this up every time and uh, um, empty this out and dry out all of these hoses. And that's something that is like really super nice about um, these water, these foot pumps is you're not having water sitting them for, you know, weeks or even over the winter and ruining them. And I'm just gonna keep this one as a backup. quick look at that. So I use those front and rear and it looks like it just started to break through on that. So I think that's going to be pretty secure. So I have this attached now with those four screws and it feels really sturdy on there. Um, I've got my water over here. Uh, warming up my tubes and let's see this one is the top one i have my plumber's tape on here and so let's just see oh man i have to move this a little bit closer you can't just get that on oh how sweet is that now you can see this moving around a little bit and that was kind of like one of the things that i was worried about it's on good I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm going to give that a try, make sure that that doesn't leak now. And one of the things that I was concerned about with this little whale gusher is this: these plastic pieces, while they seem to be pretty sturdy, I really had to tighten those clamps down on it. And this plastic here is pretty good, but this is a lot more substantial. And so I'm going to install that, hook it up to the water, and let's see how fast we can fill that mug. Oh, that's nice. That kind of moves around a little bit. Yeah. I just love that I can see how much uh, gray water I have in here so I know when it's time to empty it. Empty it. Okay, let's do a quick cleanup and let's take a look. I have had just 
like issues with my little foot pump. Um, it actually works pretty well. Um, you know, you want to wash your hands. It's got a nice amount of water that comes out for washing your hands. But if you want to, like, say, fill a cup of water, it's 25 seconds to fill a mug of water. And, um, you know, I'll have water bottles that are twice that size. So standing here for a whole minute um, to fill one cup or um, if I'm going to fill like the dog's bowl for water, I can be here for like two or three minutes filling this water bowl. Let's see how many, how long it's going to take me to fill this water cup. There we go. 11 seconds and four pumps. So I'm like really pleased with that. One thing I will say about this is um, when I push down, the water comes out. And when I let back up, the water comes out. So it's almost like each pump is a double pump, which I'm really, I really like that because that's gonna come in just really super handy. And let's see, can we do just a little pump? Yeah, we can do just like a little half pump and get a little bit of water out. That's nice. I'm back from a 14 day mooch docking trip to my son's house. And uh, I have, the pump is already open, drying, I emptied it out, drying it out. The whole water system gets dried out and gets ready to go for the next day so we don't have any algae or anything growing or nasties growing in it. And um, during the 14 days that I was gone, I used 16 gallons of water, so that was a little bit more than a gallon a day per person. And um, I cooked, I um, did dishes, I filled water bottles, um, and I brushed my teeth, washed my hands, and I felt that the pump was efficient, uh, but not wasteful at all. I would say that it was very comparable to what we were using before uh, with the smaller pump and then having to augment it with gallons of uh, water. So if you are thinking about uh, either replacing your pump because it's, it's, uh, the volume isn't there, I would highly recommend yes. If you were just building your galley in your van and you were thinking what pump would you like, I'd say go with this one, you won't be disappointed. Um, there's a lot of anchor points on it. I just put the, mine on this half inch plywood, um, but, and it has worked very well. I really like being able to move it out and, you know, empty it out once I get home. So there's my review. Thank you very much for watching this review and everybody have a wonderful day.